Hi everybody, it's Monday morning and I am back at the school garden. Before I show you all the cool stuff that's going on in the garden, I want to show you how quiet it is when there are no kids around. It is so strange. A school is meant for kids and when you see a space without kids, you really miss them. The good news first, we have new pumpkins. And the Atlantic giant pumpkin is getting bigger and bigger every day. I also see a couple of acorn squash uh, that's getting very big. And also some other mystery squash. I'm not sure what it is. I thought it was spaghetti squash at first. A bit more of good news before I get to our troubles. This is a pumpkin plant in the asparagus bed that seemed to have grown overnight. And another pumpkin plant that's doing really well and look at this our success story here the bottle gourd is growing after um, the first one we planted was eaten by some rodents and also I placed some other seeds in here that um, are growing this one is still little now yeah, this is and these two seedlings are coming up so Hopefully they don't get eaten and they'll have a chance to survive. Our bottle gourd is doing really well, climbing up the arbor as we're trying to train them too. They are also climbing on the fence and there are many baby gourds on this plant right here. And it's reached all the way to the top and we're now going to train them across and over. They are just beautiful and doing really we well. We have a few problems in the garden. Not too many, but it's still annoying. First of all, these pill bugs ate a lot of the pumpkin seeds that, that we direct sow in the soil. And uh, also, I've been noticing that some of the leaves on the pumpkin plants are turning yellow. I hope it's nothing too serious. I have to look into that. So far, I've only spotted them on some plants. Okay, enough of the problems. On to happier things, the harvest. Today, it looks like we have many eggplants to harvest. And I believe some zucchinis as well lots of zucchinis and there's a huge one in there this chart swiss chart is also ready to be harvested this cucumber is hanging out here make it easy to harvest and oh my goodness look at these tomatoes where are the kids i need some help harvesting these tomatoes this calette is now ready to be harvested. It's been in the garden for over a year now. It's a cross between kale and Brussels sprouts. And one beautiful purple passion asparagus. So what's next in the garden? We are going to pull out these bean plants. They are diseased and at the very end and we will replace them with some corn. I have these seedlings started at home and they should be ready by next Monday. This pile of soil just kind of showed up one day. Uh, thank you very much whoever brought it to us. So we decided that we're going to make a couple more hugocultural mounds with it. Uh, and also because this one right here is doing so well with this pumpkin plant. Basically we gathered up some twigs and garden debris then we cover it up with some of that soil. This is a very ideal location for pumpkins because there's a lot of space for the pumpkin plant to spread. I started some seedlings last week, so by next Monday, they should be ready to go in the ground. This is what we have going on this Monday at our school garden. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up 
And if you'd like to keep updated on what's going on at our school garden and our pumpkin growing adventure, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.